un Shanti. We'll continue with the Murli dated 6th February 1980. The easy way to become bodiless. And we'll continue from Bhaktada meeting res residents of Madhuban. Today, Baba has especially come to meet you, fortunate souls who reside in Madhuban. Even today, devotees as well as Brahmins sing songs of praise of the Madhuban residents because the great praise of the land of Madhuban is automatically also the great praise of the people who live on this land. According to the drama, you residents of Madhuban receive a special chance to do everything. Madhuban is the land of the divine activities of Bab Dada. It is the land on which he performed actions. Just as a place can affect someone's stage, in the same way, Madhuban is the place that puts greatness into your stage and makes you into an intense effort maker. Therefore, those from Madhuban have been given a special chance. Madhuban is the main center where you can make your mind powerful and develop the attitude of a world benefactor and serve the whole world. As well as serving the guests with your thoughts, words and deeds, you residents of Madhuban have also had a special chance to make the atmosphere spiritual and angelic. When other souls see you residents of Madhuban, they all easily learn to follow you. Just as Madhuban is unlimited, so you residents of Madhuban also have a chance to do unlimited service. According to the laws of karma, all souls definitely receive the fruit of whatever acts they do. However, however many souls come to Madhuban and are served and then leave very happy and content, the residents of Madhuban, those who look after the guests, receive a share of that contentment of all those souls. When you can accumulate a share of doing service whilst sitting at home, then you have a speciality. The residents of Madhuban 
have the speciality of receiving instant fruit. You are, of course, creating your own future reward. You residents of Madhuban have another special lift. You receive sustenance from Bab Dada, but you also receive sustenance from the elevated souls who are corporeal instruments. You are given a lift of double sustenance. You are all given everything ready-made. Do you greatly fortunate ones realize you are elevated fortunate and serve as instruments? Do you greatly fortunate ones realize you are elevated fortunate and serve as instruments? All of you have made good effort. Bhaptada is congratulating all of you children who have used your bodies, minds and the treasures of your powers day and night. Those who renounce something receive fortune automatically in the form of happiness and the experience of lightness at that very moment. Those who renounce something receive fortune automatically in the form of happiness and the experience of lightness at that very moment. Based on this result, each of you and check yourself to see how much renunciation you have and how altruistic your motives are. Whether you have the feeling of being an instrument or have other motives mixed with that. To check and change yourself is the special effort you need to make in order to make your stage ascend. Secondly, each of you must especially imbibe one special virtue for all time so that it becomes your original virtue. Each of you must especially imbibe one special virtue for all time, so that it becomes your original virtue. When this virtue becomes your natural virtue, you won't need to make any effort. It will become part of your natural life. This special virtue is not to imbibe or speak of the weaknesses of anyone else. Speaking about it creates an atmosphere. Even if someone comes to you to speak of another person's weakness, have good wishes and just step away. 
don't say afterwards i didn't ask that person to tell me anything but i just listened to what i was told so at least you listened to that person those who speak of another person create an account similarly if you listen to those who speak of the, that other person then you too create an account the percentage is different but an account is created those who speak of another person create an account similarly if you listen to those who speak of that other person then you too create an account the percentage of just listening to those who speak of that other person person that percentage is different but an account is created the baba says neither have any wasteful thoughts nor speak of any any weaknesses accommodate the things of the past with your merciful heart with your good wishes accommodate everything and continue to serve that soul with your mind you have good wishes for even the five elements therefore here it is just a question of cooperating with brahman souls even if due to his or her sanskars someone says does or listens to something wrong you can transform that soul with your good wishes accommodate everything and continue to serve that soul with your mind you have good wishes for even the five elements therefore here it is just a question of cooperating with brahman souls even if due to his or her sanskars someone says does or listens to something wrong you can transform that soul make sure that you do not create a garland of anything wasteful by spreading it from 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 3 imbibe this virtue do not speak of such things to anyone or listen to anyone speaking such things but just accommodate everything do not speak of such things to anyone or listen to anyone speaking such things but just accommodate everything just cooperate and enable others to progress by serving them with your thoughts and words what tends to happen is that someone has a friend and that friend has another friend 
Then the second friend has a third one. In this way, the garland of wasteful matters get bigger and spreads in all four directions. Therefore, pay attention not to do these things. Acha, the unity of the Pandavas of Madhuban is very special. The whole season passed without any obstacles. And so you have received the blessing of being free from obstacles. All of you have passed in the subject of successful service. You're not doing service, but eating the fruit. Is claiming a right to blessings from the whole Brahmin family. Doing service or eating the fruit. Is claiming a right to blessings from the whole Brahmin family doing service or eating the fruit? Achcha. To those who constantly fulfill the responsibility of love, to those who constantly stay with the true friend. To those who constantly sing songs of praise of the attainments and virtues. To those who become easy yogis by knowing the right method of just a second. To those who are constantly merciful to those who make difficult things easy. To the children who conquer sleep and become rulers of the world. Bhaktada's love, remembrance and namaste. To those who constantly fulfill the responsibility of love. To those who constantly stay with the true friend. To those who constantly sing songs of praise of the attainments and virtues. To those who become easy yogis by knowing the right method of just a second. To those who are constantly merciful. To those who make difficult things easy. To the children who conquer sleep and become rulers of the world. Bhaktada's love, remembrance and namaste. And from us children, love, remembrance, and namaste to our dear sweet Pratada. Om Shanti. Let's take a mo couple of moments in silence. And then come to share our takeaways.
okay. You can unmute yourself and be ready to share. In this part of the Murli, Baba has heavily emphasized on the responsibility that we have of creating our karmic accounts. Oh, Yes, so, Vijay Pai. So Baba says, uh, you know, don't have any wasteful thought or not speak any weaknesses. So um, that creates an account. So not just speaking about a person, uh, creating a account, but also listening uh, of uh, somebody speaking, right? That also create an account. So, uh, you know, uh, but the percentage is what matters is the percentage is different. So that's what I am. Papa says that the account is created. So it's very subtle thing uh, that is sometimes you may have to uh, listen, right? Uh, you may not know what that person is going to talk, but still, uh, in that way, if you look at it, uh, we uh, we might have to listen, but we so we not we don't respond, right? We don't join or we don't entertain them to speak further. But still, we will be listening, right? So, according to this direction, I feel there the account is created in a subtle way, right? Though the percentage is different, balances. Oh, Om Shanti, thank you. Yeah, further to this, Father yes, says that accommodate the things of the past and have the attitude of mercy. That's the thing for me to take away. That imbibe the power of accommodation. And one more reflection is when Baba says that don't look at weaknesses of others. Then one thing that came to my reflection is focus on other speciality and create that atmosphere of empowerment around yourself and others rather than speaking or giving any ears to the weaknesses of others. Om Shanti. Om Shanti Bhutta. Truly, we will have to remain contented with the qualities which have been given to us through Gyan and through Baba. As if whatever is happening is happening for the good, everybody is playing their role very well. At the same time, if we have to correct somebody wherever possible, I mean, though not reflected in this movie, Baba says you have to give them praises first and then appraise them of it. Though nobody is perfect, we'll have to look at that one good quality of others and then hang on to it. Thank you. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Baba says, don't create a garland of wasteful thinking and wasteful talking about others. Rather, uh, change the other person with your own power of good wishes. Om Shanti.
ओम शांति लुकिंग एट दैराग्राफ ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ लिसनिंग टू पीपल सी फर्स्ट बाबा वेरी क्लियरली सेज बोलना भी नहीं सुनना भी नहीं दोनों अकाउंट क्रिएट होता है but then he also comes down a little further and he you know dilutes it a little and then he sing accommodate everything so just accommodate everything just cooperate everything and even when you listen to something just see you listen for the sake of transformation so i was just thinking that paradoxical way what baba was saying first he says you do create an account then uh, he comes down to say okay even if listening is there don't uh, put it on your neck don't allow it but then he says accommodate it cooperate it <coughs> then of course uh, ek se do do se teen teen se char there are so many songs in on that like why i should not uh, accommodate and all that stuff but can you just uh, throw a little light on this see for a normal person when he reads karo then he says mat karo acha aisa karo what what's that kind of um, a, a model code is uh, <laughs> baba trying to speak through this paragraph if you could just throw some light which paragraph are you talking about kirjaben i missed out no so that to log in as cooperate speak listen and then he says uh, don't listen because it creates an account then he says uh, okay accommodate so when i am not allowed to listen how can i what's that question of accommodating is saying accommodating but don't wear it like a garland and why the reason is also there so uh, when he started he started on a stricter note saying neither speak neither listen so uh, it was it was a very a kind of a paradoxical paragraph i thought if if i were to summarize that as to what baba actually wants us in a thing how would you present it so every moment every second or every minute that we have when we orient ourselves to being of service of course the first thing is that we don't speak what we call as gossip about the other person discussing actually discussing about someone what they have done what they should do what they should not do why are they doing what they are doing that is a direct way to build up our account because we are not contributing anything to elevate that soul we are only discussing about that soul second is you may not be actively talking but you are passively making yourself available to be a part of that discussion about that soul not being a part of that by withdrawing so even uh, how it is said ke one who is if someone is doing anything wrong of course that builds up your karmic account but even if it is happening in front of you and you are not taking any action even then you are being a witness 
do not contribute. So one day either you counter that to contribute to that third person, to that second person. And if you see that you're not able to do it at that point of time, then withdraw. Because people at this point when the souls are depleted with the environment around, certain souls are adamant to not transform, to just continue being righteous in what they are thinking, doing, or speaking. To tell them about operating from virtues may, not, may be falling on deaf ears. So to ensure that your account is not tainted with any more red spots, the only access then that you would have then is to withdraw. And then there is no justification that you would give what Baba said in the Murli that I didn't ask that person to tell me anything. But I, was, I just listened to what I was told. So at least at that point of time you were listening to that person. The percentage is different. But no, in no way you are either having any wasteful thoughts or speaking about anyone's weaknesses and coming to accommodation from the realization or the understanding that everything that is there, what we say, that things are happening, that's drama. But that moment, your accommodation, your presence, will actually help you create your destiny. And these are such subtle practices which happen in a default manner. We don't even realize that how unconsciously we are making ourselves available or becoming party to such conversations that may add to our account. So Shubh Bhavna, Shubh Kamna, when with your good wishes, elevating yourself, you accommodate everything and continue to serve that soul through Mansa Seva by sending vibrations. So one is accommodation of not labeling that person with any characteristic and the second is to actually send vibrations of healing because at that point of time that soul is suffering from some vice or the other does that answer your question Gijavan? Yeah, I even like that one thing which you spoke about. You're not speaking, but when you listen to somebody, you're passively making a thing that you're making yourself available to them. But I was just thinking when somebody's speaking all such kind of nonsense or gossip, I just can't leave. It's the, I don't think etiquettely, even when somebody is speaking this, Baba has always said, Listen, but don't listen. Speak, but don't see. See, but don't see. So I still feel like I can listen over there. And as you rightly said at the end, and Baba even said, like if I tell Baba, Baba, I didn't tell him to speak, Baba, but he spoke. Uh, if, and that's the fact. That's a fact. When I sit there and listen to something, that's the thing child would tell God. 
because but still i feel if i sit there with good wishes as you said knowing that that person has insecurity and i can still i i think that's a beautiful kind of approach one could have if you could listen to all the kind of nonsense in the world but still be unmoved and infall- infallible yeah i agree to the subtle thing but only why 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 can't i have the power to really give ship bhavna to that person and if i am really intention to help that person i think that person will stop jabbering all that knowing that uh, this is not like i don't know if you remember the story of buddha when somebody went to him and told him something or other other and then he was so calm he was so calm and then when he was asked as you know he gave the example of a present not being taken you don't take but allow that person to release all his negativity you are a big mountain of positivity so we can i think just i felt uh, that would be an approach which uh, i would like to take. that's the thing thank you vimish vimish even that's a great perspective and you make yourself available for the other person to empty their cup if you want to make a difference to that soul it is very important at times to allow them to empty their cup so maybe at that point of time now one has to be versatile in that present moment that in the remembrance of baba you're just being an instrument and being a detached observer or a detached listener not really absorbing all that is coming from the other soul but allowing that person to empty what is there within at times you may continue that person that that person talking but not allowing to enter your sanskaras you're not getting colored by that in some point of time that is very important and at times given an opportunity or the presence of mind where you can skillfully intrude and take the conversation in your hand and start adding value so maybe humanly it may not be always possible but with the presence of you being as an instrument in the remembrance of baba you taking on being at that in that present moment with the intention that i am listening just to serve that soul so it's 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 the versatility that one may need to have at that one particular time which might be different at different times but yeah that's even a valid perspective where sometimes people are so filled up from within there are times you have to just let them speak and let it out of their system like flushing and cleansing but at times when you see that there are more people and it might be do been doing more damage to the person that they are speaking about then at times maybe the need to intrude and to take charge of the conversation in your hands but yes at all times the intention is to not get colored by what the other person is saying but even having empathy compassion for the person who's speaking but all times to contribute to that soul right to javed wonderful you know when you spoke over vimish bhai i was just thinking about that scientific thing of transparent translucent and uh, opaque so here baba is saying when you must be transparent when you must be translucent and when you pick i think that last part mountain of positivity is as more than opaque like mere andar kuch jayega nahi lekin i absorb i was just relating it to the scientific principle which we learned when we were young about transparent translucent and opaque 
Baba's included all those three in a very, in his own special way. Thank you very much. Yeah. We usually say that, oh, you should listen from one ear and take it out from the other. But even that might not work because in between the two ears is your soul. So you're listening from one ear and taking out. It's like a wall, it's bouncing off. So you're listening from one and then bouncing it off from the same ear so that it doesn't taint or color your soul. Yes? Sanjay Bhai? Om Shanti. Yes, brother. Baba, when explaining about the knowledge, Baba often tells that my dear children, you are holy hands. And the holy hands, what it does, it just takes out the positive things. It take out, just takes out the moti out of it and leaves, and, and leaves everything else. So we have to become like holy hands. That's all. Om Shanti. Yes. So true. And what, uh, whatever that we have to do, we have to do in the remembrance of Baba. And that's the holy hands. When you are in, in remembrance with Baba, whatever that is positivity will get in. And whatever that is negativity will not even touch you. That is, even while hearing, you are not hearing. Because yeah. in remembrance of Baba, uh, you are getting the things which you need. You are getting the things which uh, is important. You're getting the things which is uh, in the context. Out of context, things will just go uh, like sightseeing. Yeah. And you'll have you, and you will be focused basically. And the most important uh, fact, uh, most important thing is that you have to be in full awareness that who you are, who you belong. And when we are in the full awareness that who we, who I am, who, to whom I belong, and what I have to become. We are really focused and uh, we are like holy hands in that way. Om Shanti. When you said holy hands, no, Sanjay, right? An analogy com comes to my mind that uh, we play the role of a fitkari, fitkari alum, a piece of alum. Yes, yes. yes. So, so when we stir that piece of alum in water, yes, yes all the dirt yes. just settles down. Yes, yes. And the, Correct, very correct. Yeah, so we, when we stir that alum, it's because just basically, one basically yeah. we are playing the role of uh, Master Brahma, we are playing the role of uh, Master Sarv Shaktiman. We are becoming just like when you see uh, everywhere you don't have Reserve Bank of India, no? whereas there is not Reserve yeah. Bank of India, State Bank of India acts as a representative. And here, what in this world, Baba will not go everywhere. Baba says that you are the, you are my representative. So wherever we are, we are playing the role of Baba. <laughs> and when we are playing the role of Baba, we are like Alam Malina. We are like yeah. Alam Malina. We are like Holians. <laughs> yes, it's Om Shanti. Om Shanti brother. I was also wondering when Baba says accommodate this, then the power of accommodation comes through yoga. If we sit in yoga and transform those thoughts into the mat of Baba, and next, not to wear it as garland means not to carry it with you. Like a garland remains around your neck for a longer time, it would stick to your body, the aura sticks to your body. So instead of putting and weaving it into garland, you may just let it go, just as you said, forgive and forget. And that's how probably also Baba means to accommodate and to not make it your garland. Om Shanti. And uh, one of the ways that comes to me to deal to to look at this is to be a sada yogi, narantar yogi always being 
in a yogi stage. So when you spoke about that making a garland, a garland cannot be made without a thread. There's a thread that would hold all the pieces together to make a garland. And that is when, yeah, if you're making a rosary of values and virtues, then that thread is adding value, being the instrument to make the garland. But here, our responsibility as being representatives of Baba is to ensure that the thread is not there. So not only we are playing the role of being responsible not to be a part of that garland, but to also ensure that the thread is also not there that would make that garland possible. So when it gets scattered, then there is no way that the garland could be made. And that can happen when our approaches are coming from acceptance and uh, looking at how each and every thought of ours, Mansa Seva or deed, any, anything that we do or anything that we speak is going to be contributive in some way that the quality of the thread also changes and the quality of the beads of the rosary also change. Thank you, brother. I stabilize. myself as a contributor yogi of one who is an instrument at all times to contribute with values and virtues to each and every soul around me. People are not wrong. They are all suffering from the polluted environment in which we are living. I, as a representative of Baba, do my thoughts my actions and through what I speak only and only contribute to the other soul. With the divinity of acceptance Compassion, love, and empathy. I play the role of a detached observer with a smile on my face. and a relaxed state of mind. My 
only and only role is to see how i can leave the other soul contributed and free that soul from the suffering i am that one space in which the only and only opportunity that the other soul has got is to be calm peaceful and happy my presence of mind is to ensure that not only i am adding anything to my account but also each and everything that is coming out of me is going in the direction clearing my account mercy is the need of the moment and with my good wishes with my power to accommodate I continue to serve that soul and attempt to free that soul from the shackles of weaknesses. That is what makes me a true Brahmin. Thank you baba for making me a part of your family for your sustenance and for counting on me to contribute to each and every soul around me I promise to you is to abide and rightfully live on the trust and faith that you've put on me. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Divine Family.